In the second part of 1.5, we're going to use the same angle pair relationships, but this time add in algebra. If we look at example one, we have angle LMN and angle PQR, and we're told that those angles are complementary. Well, we know that complementary angles are angles whose measures sum to 90 degrees. So we can say from this first sentence that the measure of angle LMN plus the measure of angle PQR equals 90 degrees. Our second sentence, find the measure of the angles if, well this is the part that we're going to have to use. The measure of angle LMN equals 4x minus 2 degrees and the measure of angle PQR equals 9x plus 1. Well, I can take this statement and plug it in for the measure of angle LMN. And I can take this statement and plug it in for the measure of angle PQR. So when I plug this statement in and plug this statement in, I'm creating a new statement that says 4x minus 2 plus 9x plus 1 equals 90 degrees. So I can create this second statement by substituting these two into my original equation. Now after I've substituted, I can do my algebra and solve for x, combine my like terms. Negative 2 plus 1 gives me negative 1 add 1 to both sides. Divide both sides by 13. So x equals 7. But if I reread my problem, I need to find the measures of the angles. I know that x is 7 and I know that the measure of angle LMN is 4 x's minus 2. Well if each x is worth 7 I can substitute this 7 in for x so I really have 4 7's minus 2 and 4 7's is worth 28 minus 2, and 28 minus 2 is 26. So the measure of angle LMN is 26 degrees. Now I need to find the measure of my other angle. The measure of angle PQR is 9x's plus 1. So I can substitute this 7 in for x. So I really have 9 sevens plus 1. Well 9 sevens is worth 63 and add 1 to that I get a grand total of 64. So the measure of angle PQR equals 64 degrees. Now I can check this answer. Originally I started with this statement. I can take this answer and plug it in right here and I can take this answer and plug it in right here and double check to make sure that I am correct. The measure of angle LMN is 26 degrees plus the measure of angle PQR 64 degrees should equal 90 degrees. So I'm going to check that math. I'm going to take 26 plus 64. And when I take 26 plus 64, I get 90. So 90 equals 90, that checks out. In my second example, instead of words, I'm given a picture. So in this picture, I have one, two, three angles that I know about. I also have this angle here, but I don't know any information about this angle. 
So if I look at this angle and this angle, these two angles are vertical. And if I look, I have a Y in this angle and an X in this angle. And in a problem like this, I don't want to combine my X's and my Y's. So I'm not going to use these two angles. I also have these two angles. Now these two angles are adjacent. They share a vertex and a side. They're supplementary. They form a straight line. And they're a linear pair. So I know that this angle plus this angle has to be 180 degrees. But again, I don't want to mix up my x's and my y's. So instead, I'm going to look at these two angles. These two angles are adjacent. They share a vertex and a side. They're supplementary because they form a linear pair. So I know that when I take this angle plus this angle, I should get for an answer 180 degrees. So I can take 6x minus 10 degrees and add in 2x plus 30 degrees and for an answer get 180 degrees. I knew that these two formed a linear pair so they were supplementary and the reason I picked these two angles and not these two angles is because both of these angles involve an x. And the reason I want to pick x's is so I can combine like terms. I have 8x plus 20 degrees. Subtract 20 from both sides. Divide both sides by 8. So x is... 20. So if I look at this angle right here, this angle is 6x's minus 10. Well, if each x is worth 20 degrees, this angle right here is 6 20's minus 10. So this angle has to be 110 degrees. And this angle is 2x's plus 30. So I have 2 20's plus 30. 2 20's plus 30 more degrees gives me 70 degrees. Which works out because these two angles are supplementary. Now if I look at my directions, I need to solve for x and y. I've solved for x, now I need to solve for y. So I need to go back to my picture. These two angles are also supplementary. So I know that when I take this plus this, I need to get 180 degrees. So 2y plus 70 degrees is going to give me 180 degrees. I can use this y now that I know the value of this angle. Subtract 70 from both sides. Divide both sides by 2. I'm left with y equals 55 degrees. So if I want to find the value of this angle, the value of this angle is 2 y's. Each y is worth 55 degrees, so it's two fifty-fives, which gives me a grand total of 110 degrees. Now if I look at the original statement, I'm supposed to find x and y. Well here's my x, here's my y. And the last problem. Again we have a word problem. Two angles form a linear pair. One angle is 20 degrees bigger than the other. What are the dimensions of each angle? Well, let's take this one step at a time. I have two angles that form a linear pair. Because they form a linear pair, I know that those angles are going to be supplementary. And 
And I don't know what these angles are, so I can pick any two variables for these angles. In this example, I'm just going to pick A and B. So from this first sentence, I know that A plus B has to equal 180 degrees. And from my second example, one angle is 20 degrees bigger than the other. Well, I have to convert this to an algebraic equation. One angle, well, I just need to pick one of these two angles. A is, turns into an equal sign, 20 degrees bigger than the other. Well, if the other angle is B, I need to figure out what to do with this bigger. I'm going to have 20 degrees is bigger multiplication or addition. Well, if you think about it, to get bigger, I don't want to multiply. To get 20 degrees bigger, I'm going to want to add. So this second equation, one angle, A, is equals 20 degrees bigger plus the other angle, B. It's only now that I want to figure out how big A and B are. If you notice, I have two equations. In this equation, I know that A is 20 degrees plus B. And in this equation, I have an A right here. So I can take my second equation and substitute into my first to create a new equation. I'm going to combine these two equations and come up with 20 degrees plus B, that's my A, plus B, I'm finishing the left side of my equal sign, equals 180 degrees. So I substituted in how big A was into my first equation, combine my like terms, subtract 20 from both sides, divide by 2, and I get B equals 80 degrees. Now to figure out A, I know that A is 20 degrees bigger than B. Well, I just figured out B was 80 degrees, so I know that A is 100 degrees. And I can check this answer by adding 80 degrees plus 100 degrees and getting 180 degrees. And I know that 100 degrees is 20 degrees bigger than 80.